Okay, if you're still sticking around, this is a little bit of bonus tips or tricks to make your print look even more professional than it does right now. First thing, I look at this drawing and I find these little rectangles and um, triangles to be really distracting. So we're going to get rid of those first. To do that, we're going to go to the floor tab and we're going to select around the outside and we're going to two finger click and we're going to hide that element from view. We're going to do that for all four of them. Those boxes are really important as we're working on our design work. But as we wrap up and we get more done and we get it ready to present to our audience, we don't want that in the way. I'm actually going to take this dimension. I have my modified tool. I'm going to try to slide it in a little bit. Oops, nope, it just doesn't want to. So I'm going to leave it there. I just did a control Z. Now you can check out your drawing. Nice. Look at those squares are gone from this drawing. I'm going to get rid of these lines on my um, 3D view as well. So I'm going to go to that. I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to two finger click, hide view, and go to elements. Same with this one. Click on it, two finger click, and whoops, hide in view and elements. Now it's also going to be missing from this view. That looks so much better. If I wanted to move this around, I could. I'm going to scooch it down a little bit now that I don't have that rectangle in the way. Oh, I like how that looks so much better. Okay, next thing. I'm going to change the name here. I am the owner of this project. So I'm going to put in my name. A little bonus hack. If you want yours to look professional, put your name in there. Same with your project name. What was the name of this? We call this, accidentally pause my video. Okay, there we go. Let's hide, let's select all that and let's call it what it is. We call this shed in Revit. You could name it something different as well. And then I am going to change my unnamed here. I just don't like when anything says unnamed. So I'm going to change unnamed to floor plan and leave it like that. Just click in the background and it saved it. You can get really fancy and change any more of these items, but I think that looks so much better. So now I'm just going to do the same process that I did in my last video. I'm going to go to File, Print. I'm going to print to a PDF. I'm going to click on OK. And here it is. I am going to name this Fall Shed version, version 2, and then click on Save. So now if I were the student turning this in, I would turn in this one that is a little bit more cleaned up. But again, this is just a bonus hack, uh, an additional thing that you can do to make your plan look even better.